The concept that human beings are forms of energy and capable of influencing the quantum realm combines ancient mystical teachings with modern quantum physics. Across history, spiritual traditions and esoteric philosophies have explored the energetic nature of human beings, offering insights that align with contemporary scientific understandings. In The Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manley P. Hall, these powerful teachings about the human energy system and its interaction with the universe are explored in detail. Drawing from Hermeticism, Kabbalism and other ancient systems, Hall's work provides compelling evidence for the energetic nature of human beings and their influence on the quantum realm. From a philosophical perspective, humans have long been understood as beings of energy. Hall's work illustrates how many ancient traditions viewed humans as both physical and spiritual entities, with energy being the connecting force between the two. Hall writes, the human body is the tomb of the soul, a sentiment that reflects the Pythagorean belief that the body houses an eternal energy, the soul. This idea of a dual existence where the material body is only a temporary vessel for the soul stresses the belief that humans are fundamentally energetic beings, interacting with a universe that is itself composed of energy. This understanding is found in various spiritual traditions, including the teachings of Hermeticism. Hall discusses the Hermetic principle, as above, so below, which expresses the interconnectedness of the macrocosm or the universe and the microcosm or the individual. This concept, integral to the Hermetic tradition, suggests that humans are not isolated from the universe, but are integral parts of it with their internal energy reflecting and influencing the larger cosmic forces. The energy within human beings, according to these ancient teachings, is part of the same fabric that makes up the universe, implying that humans, through their consciousness and actions, can influence the greater reality around them. Modern science, particularly quantum mechanics, offers a framework that aligns with these ancient ideas. The observer effect in quantum mechanics demonstrates that particles exist in a state of probability until observed, at which point they collapse into a definite state. This suggests that consciousness, the act of observation, has a direct impact on the fundamental particles that constitute reality. In The Secret Teachings of All Ages, Hall refers to similar concepts within ancient mystical practices. The human spirit, when properly attuned, can not only commune with the divine, but can also exert influence over the material world, transcending the limitations of physicality. This mirrors the quantum observation that consciousness influences reality at the most fundamental level. The observer effect suggests that the act of observing or measuring quantum particles changes their behavior, collapsing their wave function and giving them a definite position in space and time. In this way, human beings through their consciousness are capable of influencing the quantum realm. Quantum theory also introduces the concept of non-locality, where particles that are entangled affect each other instantaneously across vast distances. This reflects the ancient belief in the interconnectedness of all things, a key tenet in both Hermeticism and Kabbalism. In Hall's examination of the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, he discusses how energy flows through the various Sephiroth, which represent different aspects of the universe and the individual. This flow of energy, from the divine source to the physical world, demonstrates a metaphysical model that parallels the idea of entanglement, where all things are energetically connected regardless of physical distance. In his exploration of ancient symbolism, Hall describes the human body as not just a physical entity, but an energy field that interacts with the environment. This concept of the human aura is found in numerous ancient teachings, where the aura represents a subtle field of energy that extends beyond the physical body. Hall writes, the human body is the microcosm of the universe and within it lie the same forces and energies that exist in the macrocosm. 
This view aligns with modern scientific findings regarding electromagnetic fields that surround all living organisms, suggesting that human beings are constantly radiating energy and interacting with their surroundings. In Hindu and Buddhist cultures, the chakra system offers a similar perspective, where energy flows through specific centers in the body, influencing mental, physical and spiritual health. Paul references these systems in his discussion of how ancient cultures understood the flow of energy through the human form, particularly in relation to spiritual practices such as meditation and visualization. These practices aim to align and balance the body's energy centers, allowing the individual to influence not only their internal state, but also their external reality. A significant theme in Hall's work is the power of human thought and intention to influence both the self and the external world. He states, the mind is the most powerful tool of the individual and when properly directed can exert influence over not only the self but the external world. This idea is reflected in quantum physics through the concept of the observer effect and the role of consciousness in shaping reality. Thoughts and intentions, according to both ancient teachings and modern science, are not inert. They are energetic phenomena that have the power to influence the material world. This is supported by the understanding that the quantum field is a sea of potential, where all possibilities exist until an observer collapses the wave function into a particular reality. This implies that human consciousness has the ability to interact with and influence this field of potential through directed thought and intention. The practice of visualization in spiritual traditions serves as a concrete example of this principle. By focusing the mind on a specific outcome, individuals are believed to direct energy toward manifesting that outcome in the material world. This practice mirrors the quantum concept of potentiality where all outcomes exist until one is actualized through observation and intention. In the secret teachings of all ages, Hall draws numerous parallels between ancient mystical knowledge and modern scientific understanding. The ancients, though lacking the scientific terminology of today, had an intuitive grasp of the energetic nature of reality. Hall writes extensively about the Kabbalistic belief in emanation, where the universe is created through a series of descending energy fields, with each level representing a different aspect of reality. This concept mirrors the quantum field where all possibilities exist in a state of potential until acted upon by consciousness. The Hermetic tradition also offers insights that parallel modern science. The Hermetic principle of vibration states, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. This aligns with the quantum understanding that at the smallest scales, everything in the universe is in constant motion, vibrating with energy. Even particles that appear solid and stationary at the macro level are, at their core, vibrating fields of energy. This ancient understanding of vibration reflects the reality uncovered by quantum physics, that matter, energy and consciousness are fundamentally interconnected. The concept of human beings as forms of energy capable of influencing the quantum realm is not only supported by modern science, but is deeply rooted in ancient wisdom. By recognizing the interconnectedness of all things and the power of thought and intention, we gain a deeper understanding of our potential to influence the quantum field and ultimately to shape our own reality. As Hall eloquently writes, the universe is the manifestation of divine thought and man, by attuning himself to the higher principles, becomes a co-creator in the unfolding of cosmic order.